Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shah, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shah, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shah, Baashem, Raka, Kwadash. This is Aki Madrilazil, back with another quick lesson. Also, want to give double honors and a salute to the men I learned this truth from. Shalom, Baraka Thom. Yeah, I'm going to do this lesson on, you know, pretty much what this world, mainly these Babylonians here in Babylon, the great AKA America, what they're truly after, of, man, what they covet after, of, and what they really worship, man. <clears throat> it's this right here, man. <laughs> this fiat currency, the United States of America. <laughs> One dollar, right? And it says what? In God we trust. So this is what this is a symbol of what these people worship, man. They don't, they don't, you know, that's why a lot of them coveted, covetous and coveted after this money, man. They don't really have any principles. They don't have no morals. They would do anything uh for the money. And another thing that uh they use here is what uh the bag. They do anything for the bag, you know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, this is this is who this is who they trust right here. <laughs> Money. You know what I'm saying? This is this is what pretty much this is what they love. This is their lust. This is what they uh, uh worship, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to uh a couple precepts. Let's go to the book of uh Luke. Sixteen, and I'm gonna start at the top, and I'm gonna read this one from the New Living Translation, so you can get a better picture of what I'm talking about. And it reads: the subtitle reads, "Parable of the Steward Manager." Parable of the Steward Manager. It says, "Yahweh told this story to his disciples. There was a certain rich man who had a manager handling his affair." So like he had a manager handling his affairs. One day a report came that the manager was wasting the employer's money. So the employer called him in and said, what this I hear about you? Get your report in order because you are going to be fired. The manager thought to himself, now what? My boss has fired me. I don't have the strength to dig ditches and I'm too proud to beg. Ah, I know how to ensure that I'll, so like I know how to ensure that I'll have plenty of friends who will give me a home when I'm fired. So he invited each person who owed money to his employer to come and discuss the situation. He asked the first one, how much do you owe him? The man replied, I owe him 800 gallons of olive oil. <clears throat> so the manager told him, take the bill and quickly change it to 400 gallons. And how much do you owe my employer? He asked the next man, I owe him 1,000 bushels of wheat was the reply. Here, it's like you hear, the manager said, take the bill and, ch and change it to, it's like you take the bill, bill and change it to 800 bushels. <clears throat> and I'm gonna I'm go ahead and read, I'm gonna I'm I'm flip over to the King James Version in Luke 16 and 8 and it reads, and the Lord commanded the unjust steward because he had done wisely for the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light, man. So, Yahweh Shai commanded the unjust steward <laughs> because he had done wisely. You know what I'm saying? For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. That Mainly that's a parable with or uh, Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, or 
you know, wiser than the children of light. Who represent the children of light? Israel, man. Namely, um, you know, Israel, Israel in general, man. And that's that's who this par this parable is, is mainly talking about in sixteen and eight. The 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 total um the view. You know what I'm saying? In this in this day and age. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to flip over to the New Living Translation 16 and 9, Luke. It says, Here, here's the lesson. Use your worldly resources to benefit others and make friends. Then when your earthly possessions are gone, they will welcome you to an eternal home. <laughs> so that's what he did. He used his, he, you know, he used his, his wisdom more or less because he knew what situation he was in. Um, and, um, you know, he covered it pretty much, you know, the money from his boss to what? So he can please his friends, you know, cause that's how it is here. What's that? What's that saying in the world saying, you uh, you got a lot of money, you have a lot of friends, but once you run out of money, all your friends gone. That's how these people work, man. Cause that's what they, uh, love, man. They love money, man. They don't love anybody else. They don't love a lot of them don't even love themselves, man. They love everybody else. They, 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 love, they, they don't love no one else but money, man. You know what I'm saying? If you got money, you got plenty of friends. We'll read that again. Here's the lesson. Use your worldly resources to benefit others and make friends. Then when your earthly possessions are gone, they will welcome you to an eternal home. If you are faithful in little things, you will be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest in great responsibilities. And if you are un it's like and if you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven, man? So nonetheless he done wisely, but the Howard Shai, you know what I mean, pretty much explained that no one can trust you, you know what I mean? How can how People can't trust you, you know, in this life with, you know, certain things like money and, and, and pretty much uh, being a character, you know, and having, you know, morals, mainly the morals of the Bible, you know, who can trust you with um, the riches of heaven, meaning that when you talk or you try to present someone with this truth, man, who can trust you, man, you know? Pretty much, man. You know what I mean? More than less, mainly that no one would trust you anyway. If they can't trust you with, with their, their their possessions, man. You know what I'm saying? Their their affairs. They won't trust you at all, man. You know? That's one example. And it says, uh, verse 12, Luke 16 and 12. And if you are not faithful with other people's things... Why should you be trusted with things of your own? <laughs> you can't even be you can't be trusted with your own. That's why I was saying that they don't even love themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? These people, are, you know, especially that's the mentality of these people here in Babylon, the great AK America. And it reads, uh, 16 and 13, no one can serve two masters. For one will hate, so like it, for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both Yahweh and money, man. You know what I'm saying? But this is what Esau Edom has with you people right here, man. This image. And God we trust and it's on his fiat currency. But what the precept said, you can't love the most high money, man. You know what I mean? So that's what it does. Money, you know, money pretty much uh, influence a lot of people's decisions, man, you know. Let's read that again. <clears throat> Luke 16 and 13 again says, no one can serve two masters. No one can do this, man. For you will hate one and love the other. So like it for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both Yahweh 
and money, man. So you can't, you can't, you know, it's a, in God we trust. You can't trust these people with money, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't t trust these people, especially the, these uh, worldly people in, in Babylon the Great throughout the world in general. But um, we mainly talking about Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, man, because that's how, have a, that's how a lot of people here, they really, um, they think, man. You know what I'm saying? It's money, man. You know, they're, 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 um, sell you down the river, as they say, as a saying in the world, <laughs> for money, man. You know what I'm saying? They're a bunch of sellouts, man, especially amongst Israel, man. The entertainers, these political uh, uh, leaders, these, these, these leaders amongst Israel, that's what they are, man. They covet after the bag, man. You know, and I'm going to um, further prove that right here. You know, I just went and said the bag, and then you got these... These singers, these, these rappers or whatever, he said, what, Gucci Mane, it says, I get the bag, then it says, Featured the Amigos, you know, here's, a, here's another one, it says, the bag fe featuring, so like your lady yeah. going to the wide, deep, like you know what I'm saying, and this, uh, these, these characters here, man, it says, Young M.A., <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and this right here, City Girls, where the bag is, so this is the mentality of this world, man. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna have this guy named Kaino. Bad, I don't know who this guy is. Rick, 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 get it! So, this is, this is the uh, mentality of the world, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm after the bag, I'm after money. Pretty much the bag represents money. Not your shit, man. Y'all niggas know what the fuck's going on, man. Nonetheless, if it ain't about the money, man. Um, money is a defense, man. You know, let's go to the book Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. That's what the point at. It says, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. See, there's nothing wrong with money, man. But you can't serve money. You can't worship money, man. You know what I'm saying? We need money to live. You know, money is a defense. But see, it's the way you, it's your mentality, man. It's the way you get the money, man. Some people get the money unmorally. You know what I'm saying? They don't have no morals. They don't have no dignity. They don't have no uh, self-respect. They don't have no respect for others. You know what I'm saying? And that's the wrong way. That's the that's the wrong way of getting money, man. See, money, there's nothing wrong with money. You know, it's the way people try to obtain money. You know what I'm saying? You know, by deceit. They lie. You know, because I've been in scenarios like that, especially these uh these these females, man. Especially nowadays, man. I ain't gonna say all oh, like I said, I'm not I'm not trying to throw for these niggas are like that too. You know what I'm saying? Cause they get it from Esau eating them supper claim white man. That's why he's he's the ruler of this world and they're just following under his hypnosis, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he's ruling, you know. And he and they're they're seeing his trends, all just they're just following his vibration. That's the better word. To uh, call it, they're following the vibration, the vibration. That's why these people say, yeah, I'm catching a, especially females, I'm catching a vibe. And that's what they're doing. They're catching a vibe. <laughs> I'm about a vibe and all that, nons that nonsense, man. You know, they're following the vibe of Esau, even the self-proclaimed white man. So that's how he is, man. He covet money. He lied, cheat, steal, rob, murder. For what? For greed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's self-evident. <laughs> Let me read that again. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 7 and 20 says, For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the, ex the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. You know what I'm saying? So wisdom is the key, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you use wisdom to earn, you know, money, that's that go hand in hand, man. You know what I'm saying? But... If you covet money, you get money dishonestly, you know, you you try to, you know, do wrong to to others to obtain it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 uh that's wickedness, man. You know. And they and that's what people do because they what, man? Let's go to um the book Ecclesiastes seven and twelve. 
and the point is in 10. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil, man. So go, they love money, man. That's what it is, man. That's the reason why they do what the things they do, the wicked things that they do, because what? They love money, man. Let's read the New Living Translation. 1 Timothy 6 and 10, it says, For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And some people craving money have wandered from the truth, from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going on. These people eventually, man, that's like, uh, say for instance, these entertainers, these rappers, man, a lot of them admit we're not just uh, uh, saying things that are not true. These people have, you can see, look these things up. They have interviews and they're expressing how they feel. You think because these people have all this money, namely these entertainers, man, they're, um, they're, they're, they're good. They feel good inside. Now, a lot of them uh, suffer for depression. You know, a lot of them, you know, feel guilt. <laughs> you know, they're living in misery, you know, because they did things to obtain those funds and those monies, man. They know they, they got the, they got, the, <laughs> they got the till they, you know, the Lord take them out in, in this lifestyle they got to live with, man. You know what I'm saying? And they're living with that guilt. They're living with that sorrow, man. That's why the, uh, it says they pierced themselves with many sorrows, man, to what? Obtain this money, man. Because everything that Esau eating the supper plain white man has, man, you can't really enjoy. You you have to do certain things to reach certain levels in this society, man. You got to do certain, you got to participate in certain wicked things, man. And these entertainers, you know, they're, self, they're, they're, they're examples of it. You know what I'm saying? These self-proclaimed or, or, or you know, self-proclaimed leaders of Israel, you know what I'm saying? Or or, 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 or Jake, you know, some of these Negroes, man. Namely, you know what I'm saying? Not all, all, all of Israel, you know, their 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 leaders are wicked, but you could you could definitely see it mainly in these so-called Negroes, man. These Negro leaders and these 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 self-proclaimed leaders of Israel, being that they're in some type of political um status or some entertainment status. You got all of them. You know, proclaiming to be a, a leader amongst the so-called Negroes, man. You know what I'm saying? But they're coveted. They covet money, man. And then what happened? They pi they pierced themselves with many sorrows, man. You know. Just like it. Let's go back to the book of Luke. Uh, is this Luke? Like, let me see. Now, let's go back to 1 Timothy 6. And 10. Let's go and read a precept. And it reads, it says, 1 Timothy 1. Oh, it's like in 1 Timothy. First Timothy three and three it says, "Not give to wine." Let's, let's go to that precept, man. It says, "Ah, uh, like it." <laughs> let's get that First Timothy three. And it says, um, let's start at the top. First Timothy chapter three and one, it says, this is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, blameless. And it's like a bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, a good be, a of good behavior. So like it, given to hospitality apt to teach not given to wine nor st striker not greedy of filthy lucre but patient not a brawler not covetous man and let's go and what the word covetous man 
It says what strong definition it says uh, without covetousness, covetousness, so like you, not greedy for filthy lucre, man. You know what I'm saying? See these people right here are led by greed, man. These people here are led by greed because they are like they like I was saying that that saying, especially amongst these uh Negro women, man, they got a saying, I catch a vibe. A lot of these women are saying that nowadays, but it was it's who made it popular who made it pop that that saying popular, man. You know what I'm saying? Or or, or what they want to say hip. <laughs> Is, is these so-called, you know, the, the Negro women, man, they say I'm catching a vibe because they're following the vibration. Little, I mean, little do they know they're following the vibration of Esau Edom, the self proclaimed white man, man. You know, and I'm in and off there. I hope the body was edified. You know, till next time, I'm going to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Waka, Kwadash. Mm -hmm. Again, this is Aki and Madrilla Zeal. Lord willing, I'll be back with another lesson. I also want to give double honors and a salute to the men I learned this truth from. Till next time, Shalom, Barakathom, and a ball, ball. Shalom.